All right, I'm the Fly Rate Master, and today we're talking about head gaskets. All right, obviously we're not talking about head gaskets, we're talking about determining if they have failed. Now there's many techniques. This method I'm going to talk about is a not foolproof. Keep in mind, this is not a foolproof method. This is a quick test to tell you if you have a head gasket that has failed. By the way, the kit is by UView, and there's many companies that make these kits. Part number is 560000, made in Canada. Now what comes in this kit is a little siphon bulb like this, and this one has two chambers instead of one. Some have one, some have two. Your mileage may vary. And it comes with a bottle of leak test fluid. Now what this fluid does is if you notice, it's nice and blue. It turns colors when it detects CO, when it detects carbon monoxide, which is a byproduct of combustion. Part of the reason why this is not a foolproof method is if your head gasket is not failing enough to put combustion gases in the cooling system, you're not gonna be able to detect it. So it's not a foolproof method. And so you may still have a positive result, but yet have a blown head gasket. So keep that in mind. This is just a quick first step. So you put fluid in this chamber and this chamber up to the line. And by the way, we get this fluid from Napa. I mean, it's part number for the Napa stuff is BK700-1366. Made in the USA. But what you do is you take, pull the radiator cap off, lower the level enough so you don't suck coolant into this because obviously coolant getting sucked into this would, would invalidate the test. Fluid here, fluid here, and you suck. You suck in the air that's in the cooling system. And if it changes colors, you got head gasket problems. Now obviously a five gas analyzer will be a much more reliable test that tests for hydrocarbons, but last time I priced them, they're three, four grand. I'm not spending three or four grand to occasionally test for head gaskets. So, so you see how nice and blue it is. We're gonna test to see if I got a head blown head gasket. And as you can see, I got a blown head gasket. Now, this is an extreme. I mean, obviously I'm blowing into it, so it's gonna have CO in it. But if you've got a really bad head gasket, it'll turn this yellow color. If it's not as bad, it'll go a more greenish color, but it still indicates combustion gases. Now, a couple important things when dealing with these is don't have it in a closed shop with the exhaust not vented because you know false positives the other thing to do is obviously don't get cooling in here because again false positives and make sure you don't expose this to exhaust guy in the bay next to you is revving you know testing for a misfire or something probably not a good time to test so but it's a good quick test for blown head gaskets Obviously, after you determine this, you can do a leak down test, coolant pressure test with spark plugs out to determine the extent of the failure, but this is a good indication that you have said failure. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like it, subscribe. Make sure and hit that bell notification so you get notified when I put out a new video. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Comments are always appreciated, and as always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.